our youtube channel again so guys in this video we will see how to fix an error has acquired while loading imports okay and wrong ddl present so guys we will see why this problem is happening and find some relevant solution to resolve this issue so guys let's start so first thing we do is delete the required files to address an error has occurred while do uh, while loading the imports wrong ddl present issue is related to the mega hex so you can follow this step to delete the required files first of all navigate to the game files where your game is installed then locate and delete the files which is name as hackpro.ddl and hackproldr.dll dll so you can um, delete both of the files and then verify and verify the error is resolved or not after deleting so you can uh, relaunch your game again to check if it is uh, present or not now another thing is you do is update or reinstall your visual c++ uh, redistributable package certain application rely on the specific version of the visual c++ uh, redistributable package so you can visit the official website to download and install the required package or update your existing ones so for updating these visuals you can do first thing is restart by identify the visual c++ uh, package then that are currently installed on your system you can find these in the list on installed program in your control panel to update or reinstall for a specific uh, package you can open your control panel and navigate to the program and program and feature and locate the specific visual c++ distribution package and right click on it and select the uninstall and visit the official microsoft website to obtain the latest version of the visual c++ redistributable package and ensure that you download the correct package version for your system architecture and specify the version required for the application once downloaded run the installer for the each package to install the latest versions and after installing the new package restart your computer to ensure that change the take effect another thing is we do is update the windows ensure your windows operating system is up to date so check for install any available update and these update may be include fixes for the dll related issues so you can update your window by clicking the start menu and open the gear icon to open the setting and click on the update and security this will open the window update section within the window update section click on the check for the update button and windows will then search for the available updates for your system if update are found then click download and download and install but to initiate the update process after the update are initialized you can typically prom prompted to the restart your computer to apply the changes then we have the fourth step so guys fourth step is run system file checker okay open your command promote where you can run sfl and scwn now this will scan and repair your corrupt files that may be contributing to the ddl related issues okay so you can right click on your uh, start uh, button and select windows terminal or command promote and uh, if you are using windows 10 or 11 you can also search for command promote and right click on it and run as the administrative in the cfc promote you can search csfc slash scan now and hit the enter button then sfc tools will begin scanning your system files for any issue or corruption this process may take some time but show be, be patent and avoiding the interrupted date. Once the scan is complete, the SFS tool will provide the report of any issue found in weather. After the scan is complete, restart your computer and apply any repair that we were made. Okay. Another thing is you do is perform a clean boot. Sometimes a temporary disabled disturb program can non-essential service using the system configuration tool. This can help identify if the third application or service is causing the DDL related error. To perform a clean boot on your Windows uh, system, follow this step. First, press Windows plus R to open the run dialog box, then type misconfig and press enter. This will open the system configuration utility. In the system configuration window, navigate to the service tab. Check the boxes next to hide all the Microsoft services. This step is important to prevent the essential Windows service from the being disabled. Next, go to the start, uh, startup 
tab and click on the open task manager in the task manager window disable the startup item are not essentially for the system to function after making these changes restart your computer and will now start with clean up boop environment with only essential services and program running okay so guys thank you and have a nice day and subscribe our youtube channel for the further information maybe one of the fixes work for you thank you